you guys happy with the baby talent output in this tournament? I, I think it's been the best CPL ever. I mean, to see the crowd tonight at Providence, to see the Guyana Amazon Warriors win in the fashion they've done, the, the crowds that we've seen here at Providence, the crowds that we've seen at Ranara Cricket Academy in Trinidad, Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad, uh, Kensington Oval in Barbados. And actually, if it wasn't for the weather, we would have seen it at the Darren Sammy Stadium in St. Lucia. And we saw it at Warner Park in St. Kitts. So it's been a bumper year. It's been great to see the performances and we, we don't have a World Cup until next year but we have a, such an important World Cup. We are hosting the T20 Men's World Cup here in the Caribbean. We want to see fans like we have done across the Caribbean come out and support the cricket and we want to see West Indies take home, home advantage and um, do really well because next year's World Cup is a big, big moment for us in the Caribbean. We're hosting uh, around 40 matches across seven countries and it's uh, it's um, it's the next big thing after this so uh, the T20 World Cup is massive. You know, there was one thing, CPL has brought people out to the, 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 to the cricket. Uh, cricket West Indies has struggled a bit. Anything you maybe could learn of how do we get people into the stands for West Indies cricket as well? Yeah, look, I mean, CPL has that big advantage. They can play night matches and we all know that we're compromised by Indian TV in particular where when we play the subcontinent teams we have to play in the morning during the week and it's a challenge for our fans to give up work or give up school and come out but look, there's nothing better than playing night cricket in the Caribbean, there's nothing better than seeing you know, Providence fall or any of our uh, stadiums fall and that's what we need to try and do and we know England are coming in Christmas, we're playing matches in the afternoon and we really hope that whilst we want to welcome the Barmy Army and England fans to the Caribbean, we want to make sure that every game is a home game and that all of the Caribbean cricket fans come out and support the West Indies.